The human embryo develops a series of pharyngeal pouches or tiny ridges in the neck region which disappear late in the first trimester of gestation. In fish embryos, these actually go on to form gills. This is because humans and fish share some DNA and a common ancestor. On top of that, we humans can actually be defined as aquatic apes, as we are much better adapted to swampy coastal environments than any other primates due to our hairlessness, bipedalism, web fingers and unique respiratory tract. There is no doubt that sea coasts and rivers played a crucial role in the development of human civilization from time immemorial. Ancestor veneration was often linked with water rituals and the worship of water deities. In most ancient languages, it is easy to find a common origin for words related to water and humankind. Matsya, meaning fish, is the name of Vishnu's first avatar, who rescued mankind from a great deluge. Matsya was human from the waist up and fish from the waist down. Merfolk are attested in folklore and mythology throughout the ages in various parts of the world. In ancient China, they were called Jiaoren, in Japan, Kaijin. Greek mythology featured a multitude of water deities and mer people. The titan Oceanus and his wife Tethys generated numerous daughters called Oceanids who became the nymphs of the seas and numerous sons named Potomoi who became the spirits of the rivers. The Potomoi in turn fathered another generation of nymphs called Naiads who settled in every river and lake, whereas the Oceanids gave birth to other female creatures named Nereids, who populated the world's seas and oceans. Glaucus was a Greek fisherman who ate a strange herb which allegedly turned him into a merman. Poseidon was the most famous Greek sea god. Of his many sons, Triton came to rule the depths of the sea and Proteus ruled over the ebb and flow of ocean tides. Pontus, another sea god, fathered Nereus, the god of water, Thomas, the embodiment of sea hazards, Phorcys, who looked like a hybrid lobster man, Ceto, who gave birth to a host of monstrous children, and Eurybia, who taught people how to overcome the adversities of the sea. In the Canaanite pantheon, Yam was the chief god of the sea, ruling storms and the disasters they wreak. Similar to the Slavic sea god Morskoi Tsar, the Celtic Lear, and the Germanic Aegir. All sea gods are associated with seahorses, marine reptiles, and marine mammals. In Japan, Ebisu, also known as Hiroko, is the tutelary god of navigators and merchant seamen. Born prematurely and visibly deformed, the infant was set adrift at sea by his parents. Luckily, he was rescued and adopted by a compassionate man. Growing up, Ebisu learned to use his short arms and legs and, though he remained slightly crippled and deaf, he became a skilled fisherman. In the Guangdong province of southern China, the god of fishing folk is called Tanggong or Tam Tai Xin. Able to forecast the weather and spiritually powerful, he can aid sailors in distress and guide them over the high seas. <laughs>